Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ask Dr. Nick. My name is Dr. Nick Schmilkoffer and I work for the Neurologic Wellness Institute. And today's question is, can Wi-Fi affect your sleep? And the answer to that is definitely variable and questionable. Um, and we don't really know, but I'm gonna talk about a rat study. Um, and the reason why, well, it's a mice study. And the reason why I talk about a mice study is it's very hard to test Wi-Fi exposure affecting sleep in adults, in humans. Um, I know from experience, uh, either in the clinic or with other people, that people do have these different sensitivities to electromagnetic radiation, electromagnetic frequencies like Wi-Fi. And whether they live in the city or they come to a city and their symptoms get worse um, is a possibility. And so I want to just throw this question out there and um, just talk about a study that has a possibility of looking at how sleep quality can definitely decrease when we have too much electromagnetic radiation, too much Wi-Fi signal, or maybe your phone right by your bed uh, throughout the entire night. And so let's go right to the study. And... Here it is, it's specific electromagnetic radiation in wireless signal range increases the wakefulness in mice. Uh, this is from 2021, so it's relatively recent. And if we just look at the um, abstract here, electromagnetic radiation in the environment has increased sharply in the recent decades. The effect of environmental EMR on living organisms remains poorly characterized. So here they report a wireless range EMR on sleep architecture of a mouse. The prolonged exposure of the 2.5 gigahertz electromagnetic radiation modulated by 100 hertz of square pulses at this non-thermal output level in market, or in, results in it markedly increased in the wakefulness of mice, as in they slept less. These mice display corresponding decreased time in non-rapid and rapid eye movement sleep. Um, in contrast, the unmodulated 2.5 hertz gigahertz did not have any impact. Okay, so let's talk about what this means. So first of all, our Wi-Fi signal works mainly in two frequencies, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Okay, and then you have like 4G cell phones, Bluetooth, microwave ovens also use this 2.5 gigahertz. Okay, um, and obviously there, that's around all the time, all over the place nowadays. Um, especially in bigger cities. And so we're going to talk about how the, like the World Health Organiza Organization classifies what is um, an okay amount of exposure. They classify that 30 kilohertz uh, to 300 gigahertz as possibly carcinogenic. So um, not probable carcinogenic, not for sure carcinogenic, basically meaning it causes cancer, but possibly. Um, so again, we just don't know. So if we look over here in the significance, the steady increase in EMR in the environment, particularly the wireless signal, can cause um, or has caused a serious public health concern over its potential negative impact on health. And so by this relationship, this 2.4 gigahertz EMR modulated by 100 hertz square pulses, can increase wakefulness, that can mean that we can definitely have an alteration in sleep from being exposed to too much Wi-Fi, especially while at night. So let's look at what they did here. They tested a couple different things. And so they tested the pulse 64 watts, they tested pulse eight watts, a continuous eight watts. Um, again, all at that 2.4 gigahertz and it looked like the pulsed 64 watts was the only one that caused this uh, response, caused this decreased wakefulness time. Okay, um, and that decreased wakefulness, you know, is in uh, multiple areas. Yep, multiple areas. So right here, like the amount of REM sleep. Um, versus the pre, post, and then post after the, the nine uh, days, um, just completely decreased, okay? Um, 
And so if we look down here into the discussion and kind of what they talk about with some of their conclusions. So this possibility that this modulated 2.4 gigahertz radiation um, this one is you know, may increase wakefulness in humans, but we don't know, right? Whole night exposure to Wi-Fi was found to affect sleep microstructure of humans, but not necessarily acute effects on sleep macrostructure, meaning that people didn't necessarily sleep less when they were exposed to Wi-Fi, but the microstructure, like if you were uh, in a sleep study and you had QEG leads on that were measuring your brain of activity, there was microstructural changes. Uh, and this result is consistent with prior studies with mobile phone and base station radiation in human sleep. So if you sleep with your phone right next to you on Bluetooth, on cellular data, on Wi-Fi, that can affect as well. Um, so with the, over here, they kind of talk about the collective exposure. So what's nice is that the amount of exposure coming from a smartphone, coming from a laptop, coming from a Wi-Fi router, it's relatively small. So Wi-Fi router is like 0.13 watts per meter square. And that the whole body average general public exposure is limit is 10 or the occupational is 50, okay, for this two to 300 gigahertz. So what that means is that we can get up to 10 um, of this exposure over time throughout a day okay so if if you are just by you know a wi-fi router all day and nothing else you're not going to get per unit time per minute you're not going to get up to 10 watts per meter square which is that again that exposure limit um, but with all the accumulation of everything around you especially if you live in a densely packed city you have multiple wi-fi routers in one area, whether it be an apartment, that can definitely affect um, somebody's sleep, okay? So the reason I wanted to talk about this one is because I personally turn my Wi-Fi router off every night. I feel like it helps a little bit. Um, I'm also living in an apartment building currently, and so there's Wi-Fi and cell towers all around me, but I turn my phone on airplane mode, I turn my Wi-Fi router off, and we try to limit as much direct exposure to uh, EMRs, to electromagnetic radiation, while I'm sleeping. I want it to be a little cave when I'm sleeping. I want it to be super dark and as little signal as possible because I want to have the best sleep that I can because I know I need good sleep to function well uh, in what I do every day. And so I think this is something for people to think about if they're having problems with sleep um, or they are constantly tired throughout the day and they need better sleep to maybe try turning off their Wi-Fi, to try to separate themselves from their phone, have no electronics in, in their bedroom at all and put their phone if they need it on for, for kids or parents or anything like that, then just put it outside of the room but still on loud enough that you can wake up if you need to because somebody specific is calling. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this one. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you have any suggestions for future topics, I would love to hear them. Thanks again and have a great day. Stay healthy.